Grand International Red and White Show. Our judges have completed their placings in the age cow class. I'd like to have the juniors take a step forward, be acknowledged for their efforts today. Second place junior in the class was entry 2861, Swiss Acres Morris UBID Red, exhibited by Carson Kasbergen of Rudolph, Wisconsin. Winning junior in the class was entry number 2863, Underwood Advent Jane, exhibited by Kristen King of Waddington, New York. The open show winning the production award is entry number 2865, Vermilion Distogene Spring Red, exhibited by Kevin and Barb Zimba and JNA Westbrook of Aurora, New York. Winning the Bread and Owned Award is entry number 2857, Vanderham SS Sequoia Red, exhibited by Vanderham Dairy of Akron, Iowa. And in the open show, placing third in the class is entry number 2863, Underwood Advent Jane, exhibited by Kristen King of Waddington, New York. Second in the class is entry number 2858, Willstar RS Talent Limited Red, exhibited by Milk Source Genetics of Kakana, Wisconsin. And winning the class, and also named Best Utter, is entry number 2864, KHW Regiment Apple Red, exhibited by the Apple Partners of Edgerton, Wisconsin. Congratulations. <laughs> Judge Little, your comments. Another nice class of cows and the aged cows, and, and a close placing when we get up here in this top pair. Uh, two tremendous cows. But for me, when you get in front of this cow in first, it's, a, it's all over. She's got the lengths to her, to her front end. She, she's longer up through her head and neck. And she's a little flatter in her bone all the way throughout, right down through her hocks, all the way throughout. She's a little flatter in her bone. And I'm giving her the advantage in length to the forward or attachment. She's just a little longer in her forward than the cow falling in second. Taking nothing away. I love this cow in second. I love the rump on this cow in second. I will give her the advantage over the cow in first on her rump structure, the levelness through her to her hooks to her pins but just not the dairy quality today and the length throughout to get over the cow in first but second over third just uses the the width throughout the width up to the top of the rear udder to get over a really powerful cow we have in third the third place cow i love the powerful frame on this cow a cow that tracks well on her feet and legs we're giving her the advantage in strength she's a little stronger throughout and i and she's a little snugger in the rear udder than this real dairy cow we have in fourth the fourth over fifth just a cow a little more depth a little more spring to her rib today and a cow i think flexes her hocks and is just a little more comfortable moving on her hind legs than the cow we have following and and fifth. And then fifth over sixth, the cow, just more snugness to her mammary system. She's in more snugness to all her attachments in the mammary system than the real open ribbed cow we have following in sixth. And in the International Guernsey Show, Judge Crosser has completed his selections in the six year old and older cow class. Let's recognize our junior winners first of all. Uh, second place junior finisher, entry 1516, Knapp's Ace Miss Best, presented by Knapp's Guernsey's, Austin and Landon Knapp, Epworth, Iowa. Our first junior finisher, number 1513, Knapp's Demand Rebellious, also presented by Knapp's Guernsey's, Austin and Landon Knapp, Epworth, Iowa. Our third place overall finisher, as well as the winner of the production award and the best bred and owned award, is entry 1517, Villa Crest Win Riona. Presented by Marlis Weaver of Goshen, Indiana. At four years, seven months, 305 days, she produced 23,363 pounds of milk, a 5.1% fat test for 1,181 pounds of fat, and a 3.6% protein test for 844 pounds of protein. Our second place overall finisher, par entry 1519, Paradise Acres Lori Emma, presented by Todd and Deanna Moore, Levon Farms, Plano, Texas. And our overall class winner, as well as winner of Best Utter Award, entry 1518, Stockwell Farms Reward Haley, presented by Tyler Page and Justin Chupp, as well as Robert Fusilier of Enola, Oklahoma. Congratulations. Judge Crosser, your comments on the class, please. Well, in the H cow class, I think we have uh, six cows, eight cows in this class that a lot of years we'd be happy in this breed to have one of them to put in first place. But we really have a tremendous group today, and I'm starting with a cow that, to me, just uh, takes, it, takes the, the class. She's been fresh 14 months, but look at the quality through and through, the tremendous udder that this cow has. She's got more 
more um, a little smoother smoother forerunner attachment than does the second place cow. She's she's got quality through and through, and she just has more style and balance than this really nice cow we have here in second place. The second place cow goes over the third place cow. The main advantage here is she has an advantage in mammary system in, the, in her length of teat, in her quarter, uh, the third cow having some quartering to the udder, and not quite as much bloom at the top of the rear udder. I admit that this third place cow shows a tremendous amount of dairiness. She's been fresh almost a year and she still looks, looks tremendously dairy. And it's that openness, that dairiness all the way through that comes over the fourth place cow, a tremendous uttered cow. Cow that I'd like to get just a little more rib in today before she moves up ahead in the class. It's her height and width of rear udder that takes her over the cow here in fifth place. Uh, a nice medium sized cow with a, a tremendous udder as well, but she doesn't have quite as much height and width at the top of the rear udder as the cow in front of her. It's her balance and correctness behind the shoulders and out through the rump region that goes over the cow here coming next. Again, a tremendous uttered cow with a, a lot of, but a lot of style is a lot of height and width to the rear udder. Then we come in with two cows that are a little bit on the stale side. They have the good quality udders well attached, but just not dairy and open enough today to be up higher in the class. Congratulations.